So hello, we're the Harders. Hello. I'm Jeff. Sharon. I'm Preston. Okay. And I'm Roy. Yep, we got Roy here. Yeah. Shy He's being a little shy. Roy pretends to be shy, but these are the Harders. Their family just grew in size after their adoption of Clarice and Roy from Burundi. These two newcomers, plus their son Preston, has created what they refer to as their perfect family. So Clarice and Roy have been with us for nine weeks today. They were born in Burundi. Obviously when Preston came into our family, he was a baby and couldn't communicate with us. And even though we have a language barrier with these two, they are, they're, you know, they, they are their own kind of people. They've had to take care of themselves. And, um, they, you know, they're, they're actually cleaner, uh, a little bit more organized and, and cleaner than Preston. They, when when uh, we first met them every day, they cleaned their, they made their bed. They took, they wanted to take two showers a day. They, you know, wanted, um, they're really good at brushing their teeth, all of that. And so we got home and Preston's bed was a little bit of a mess. Didn't, didn't, didn't make his bed very every day. And so it was a little bit of a <laughs> clashing of cultures there. The process, um, many years waiting um, and then finally we, we were matched with the reason why we got pictures of them and of course we said yes um, and then from there it was 10 months later of more U.S. government and Burundian government paperwork flying out. Court processes. Court process. Adoption decrees. And, yeah. and then we finally traveled there, arrived on a Sunday night. 10 a.m. Monday, we meet them and only spent like 30 minutes at the orphanage and voila, they're in our hotel room. Just just the four of us having a little difficulty communicating, obviously, but it was just so wonderful to see just instantly how excited they were and how excited we were for this to finally happen. And what's been harder than we expected? Um, is communication. Um, it's just, you know, they don't, they, they've learned a lot of English and they've gotten a lot more, um, you know, a lot more language and a lot more skills. Yeah, but it's, it's slow. Times when if we knew if they could understand us and we could understand them, then we wouldn't have a, a meltdown. Oh, Jeff, as a counselor, has a lot of tools. But even when we went to, to Burundi to pick them up, he had flashcards and books and um, a lot of good learning tools. Um, and you know, the alphabet, um, like decals we could put on the walls for them to, for them to learn the alphabet. Um, but no, since we've been home, they've really um, just, it, they've learned English with us and then through their teachers at school. In a few days, we got a road trip to uh, my parents for Thanksgiving. Yes, the so, yep, our dog and our three kids. Oh, so all of us in the van. Getting to meet their extended family. Um, you know, Jeff's sister lives up there, and his cousins, yeah. and... Who's, um, who's in Kansas? Okay. Who are we Who going, are to, going see? to see? I. Addie. Addie. yep, your cousin Addie. So they've been FaceTiming, but haven't gotten to meet um, some of the extended family, so the chance for them to get to know them, and then also to experience some of these traditions. Um, Christmas, obviously, after that, and they, they know Christmas carols from Burundi. I think they sang them in Kurundi <laughs> when they were there, but uh, all the tunes are familiar, and so they're excited. Uh, back to last year, we had pictures of them um, at a Christmas party at the orphanage. Um, everybody was celebrating, so Joya Noel in, in French. Um, so it, it's exciting to watch them um, experience these, some new, make some new memories and, and traditions and experience some of our family traditions um, as well over the next couple of months. So I'm very excited about that. Most international adoptions are closed adoptions, but um, their birth mom is still alive. Um, and so we will occasionally be in touch with Mom and Evelyn. If they can still have that connection back to their roots. It was exciting to see them on an escalator and an elevator for the first time. Because oh, wow. they've never experienced that until our travels. Yeah. The escalators are still a bit of a challenge. Like it's, it's a little difficult to... The idea of moving stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Halloween was pretty fun too. Oh yeah. They, so yeah, they... I think we were worried they'd be afraid of, you know, the, the scary decorations and instead, you know, they got to dress up, she got to be a princess, or I got to be a superhero, <laughs> and they, people gave them candy, and so that was like a nirvana of a holiday in their mind. 
Uh, but yeah, so all three kids got dressed up and you know, we went to a little Halloween street party and um, yeah, seeing them all together out there and Preston looking out for them and them wanting to follow everything he did. And all, also, uh, they both Clarice and Preston ended up running into friends from school there and within, you know, that was just a few weeks home and, uh, and already, you know, she developed friends at school and it was be amazing to watch. You know, we, my younger sister is adopted and um, we have known a lot of you know friends and my actually my brother his youngest daughter is adopted and so we had you know quite a few family and members and friends that had adopted and um, we just you know had seen it up close enough to know um, that it was something that we wanted to do and thought we would be good at doing uh, as parents and kind of understood what we were getting into a little bit. <laughs> Our goal with having kids at all is to kind of leave a legacy and to help, you know, young children grow up to live up to their full potential. And um, it's a really special opportunity to be able to do that with, um, through whether you have kids biologically or through adoption. So um, we're fortunate to be able to, um, for all three of our kids, um, give them opportunities and help them become uh, wonderful adults and become who they're meant to be. So uh, it is, uh, international adoption is a very long and cumbersome process. Uh, it is not simple. Um, I think before we went through Many the years. adoption process, we thought it would just be relatively easy, but uh, it is definitely complicated and lo long and difficult. But as my brother, my brother adopted his daughter from China and um, everyone that we talked to had said, you know, once you get through to the other side and the kids are with you, it's all worth it and um, you know it's like it was meant to be and we definitely even a couple months in feel um, like that with with these kids so we have the family that we were um you know kind of always wanted and uh, didn't, we didn't know what, it, what the family was going to look like but now that we have it it's it's exactly perfect so